So I received this wireless charging phone holder from TacForm. This will be a review as well as an installation video. Stick around, hope you enjoy it. This is the TacForm fast wireless charging phone holder that we're unboxing here. And this is the phone mount cradle, which I'm telling you right now, this thing is heavy duty. It is CNC billet aluminum. High quality. And this is the 20 series, which, would, which means the ball in the back is uh, 20 millimeter. And it is metal. USB cable adapter. And this one is the battery adapter with an inline fuse, which is the one I'll be actually installing on my bike. This is some extra replacement grips. A couple of two different sized Allen wrenches. And once again, these are the replacement grips. I'm very impressed with the quality. This is definitely a top of the line uh, wireless phone charging mount for sure. Now this is, this is the fast Qi charging system. Uh, Qi is actually spelled Q-I, but it's the standard uh, charging system for electronics, I guess. Now this is the bar clamp that I got with it. I got the chrome since my handlebars are chrome. This also has some uh, Allen wrenches with it. Yeah, this is heavy duty as well. It's chrome plated uh, billet aluminum. And it's got the 20 millimeter ball on it as well. This is a package of some extra rubber grommet donuts, whatever you want to call them, uh, so that you can adjust, adjust it to the size bars that you have on your bike. Okay, now this is the three and a half inch long dual socket arm. Uh, I purchased the dual simply because I wanted one a little bit longer. And once again, this is also chrome plated uh, billet aluminum. It's got the thumb, thumb locks on them. The pivot. This also has the anti-theft knobs on it as well. So now for the fun part, let's get this thing installed on the bike. Okay, so this is the phone holder that I've been using for the last three years. I believe Vic Seed was the, is who I bought it from. But uh, I'm gonna remove this and install it on my four-wheeler. Now what I have done with the uh, Vic Seed phone holder that I had on the Harley, I've moved it over and put it on my four-wheeler. But I will, for those of you that might be interested in this cheaper uh, route to go as far as a phone holder, I have no complaint. like I said, I have no complaints with this one. I've been using it for three years. But I will include a link uh, below in the description on uh, where you can pick this thing up. I think I paid 20 bucks for it when I got it three years ago. I think it's about, I think it's $29 now, but anyway, it's a good, it's a good, good phone holder. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the seat because I am using the battery adapter that has the inline fuse and wiring it directly to the battery. I've got this thumb screw installed on my bike so it makes it easy to remove the seat and I have another video uh, where I purchased that thumb, thumb screw so check it out. So now I'm going to remove the bolts, the two bolts that hold the uh, bottom of the gas tank. Okay so the next step I'm going to remove the, uh, the screws from the clamp and get this ready to mount to the handlebars.
All right, so I'll put this rubber grommet on here first. I'm not real sure where, exactly where I'm going to put it yet, but we'll start off right here. God, dog always drop a screw. I need a third hand. I'm going to shut the camera off so I can look for it. Alright, so let's try this again. Now I'm tightening this up with the Allen wrenches that actually came with this kit. Alright, so let's put this dual socket arm on. Now this, this is theft proof as well. It comes with a couple of screws that you screw into the center of the uh, wing nuts and then there's a black plastic cap that goes over the top of that where you don't see the screws. And this particular one is three and a half inches long. They have other sizes as well. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting this on here and not fumbling with my USB cords like, like I did with my previous phone mount. Now this one can be used with a regular USB cord, but I'm, I'm, I'm choosing to wire it direct and I have to mess with that. Get these, get these thumb screws tight. I'm not sure if this is where I'm going to want it, but I'll play around with it later. Now for the wiring. Okay, first I'll go back to removing the bolts at the bottom of the gas tank. Okay, I'll get this ECM out of the way first. Now a couple of cables out of the way. Now I'll remove the two bolts that hold the clamp to the battery down. Now this is the fun part. Man, this, this clamp is always a pain in the ass to get off. It's got that little piece in the front that you have to push it forward and lift it over. Got dog it. Man, if any of you that are watching this have any secrets or tips on how to get this thing off easier i sure would appreciate it if you'd leave that tip in the comments below i'm gonna finish this with the camera off so the first thing i'm gonna do is i've already uh i'm gonna hook up the sae connectors together and i'm gonna run the wire underneath my cover here over the handlebars under the gas tank and then uh back to the battery I figured out when I put my, my new horns, my motor horn on, and I took the handlebar cover off, I realized then I didn't have to do that. So this time I'm just kind of going through the, the opening here off to the side and fishing it through without going through the trouble of popping that off. Now I'm running the wire up over the bolt. Uh, that holds the front of the gas tank to the frame 
and going to run the wire along the frame under the gas tank. All right, I've got to get this wire back behind my uh, three horns. I'm currently working on an installation video, uh, putting that and getting it edited on these motor horns. I wired them direct as well, and that video will be out soon. All right, now so I'll, I'll attach the wires to the battery. Loosen up the terminals. Now to zip tie. I'm going to come back later and cut and shorten these wires. Now for the big payoff. Let's see if this thing works. It works. And that's almost the same color green that's in my logo. Okay, so I, what I did was I lowered this down more towards the bottom of my handlebars. And uh, I'm going to, we know it turns on and off. Now I'm going to check and see if it actually works with my phone. And my phone, I've got the Pelican case on there. It's a good heavy-duty case that is supposed to work with these Qi chargers. The back of my case is carbon fiber, but I think it'll work. It's military grade rated. Bing! That's the sound I wanted to hear. So it is working. All right. Okay, so the back of this thing has a thumb screw. It's also built aluminum. You can tighten this thing up and it locks the, the spring arm here. Works good. Okay, it looks good. The chrome arm blends in with my bike, which is what I wanted it to do. Make sure it turns over into landscape position. Yep. Okay, so, so this has the vibration dampening system on there, so I'm going to take it for a ride and check it out and see how it does. So I'm going to try it out on the country roads out here by my house first, then I'll go out and hit the highway. Okay, I'm doing about 45 and it seems to be holding up real strong. Wish I could say that about my GoPro mount though. Alright, I'm turning onto my driveway, which is half inch to one inch crushed stone. There's my GoPro mount swaying back and forth. TacForm has some action camera mounts. I think I'm going to get me one. If it's as strong as this phone mount, I can't wait to get it. So I rode probably all together, oh, about 120, 130 miles uh, with this TAC form phone mount. And 
never, as you saw in the video, it did not move. It, it stayed put that, you know, I was out on the highway doing 70. That was also riding into a north wind. So it was very, um, the wind speed was up there pretty high and it did not move one iota. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, my, my final take on this is I can honestly say it's one of the best phone mounts I've ever seen or ever used. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel and click on the little notification bell that will notify you every time that we drop a new video. It's absolutely free. The subscriptions don't cost you anything. And I know that you probably get tired of hearing this, but it helps the channel out. And the more, the more views we get, the more subscriptions we get, the more comments we get, YouTube will broadcast this to more uh, viewers. But anyway, till next time.